<laughs> so what are you guys? We are the Sparkwood family. Hey guys, this is Psych Teacher John. So um, we're going to pick up where we left off. We were talking about FAE, right? So the fundamental attribution error. So um, just a quick recap. If you see someone walk along and they slip on the floor, right? It could be just, you know, the floor is wet, something's going on, whatever. Or it could be they're clumsy. So the fundamental attribution error says most people have a tendency of thinking that person is clumsy. Okay? That is it. So you make the attribution internal. It's about who they are, like some trait about them, right? As opposed to circumstances. Okay? All right, so let's talk briefly about something related, and that's the actor-observer bias. We're going to differentiate whether you're doing it or you're watching it. This time, let's make it positive. You watch someone, and you see them say they get a perfect score, like a perfect score in some biochem exam. Okay? There are a couple possibilities, right? Uh, the exam could be super easy. Uh, maybe they cheated. Um, maybe the professor gave a review that gave all the answers, right? Just like with uh, FAE, right? In the actor-observer bias, if you're the observer watching someone else, you tend to make the attribution internal. You say, it's not because the exam was easy, it's because that person is smart. So it's about the person, something intrinsic to the person. So because they're smart, they do well. You see them take the exam, they get a perfect score. You don't think it's because the test was easy, you think it's because they're smart, okay? Now at this point you might be saying, what's the difference? And to be honest, this is the FAE, the fundamental attribution error. It's the same thing. It's just actors or bias is gonna encompass another side. Okay, um, you know, some people, my students, when they hear this, they're kind of like, okay, then why don't we just learn this, right? Which makes a lot of sense. But remember, these theories are coming from different people. There's different emphasis at the time, different time periods slightly, you know, uh, technically they kind of overlap, but whatever. But um, you get the idea. Okay, so different people, different directions, different named effects. But actor observer biases, when you're the observer, it's just like FAE. Now, what if instead you're the one doing it? So you walk across the floor and then you slip, right? It could be the floor is wet, it could be your shoes don't have enough traction, or it could be something like you're just clumsy, right? Most people have a tendency of making the attribution external. So you sit there and you're like, oh, you know, it's not because I'm clumsy, it's literally because the floor is wet or something's up, okay? Now the example kind of makes you look better, it's not always about that. For example, let's say you're the one taking the biochem exam, you get a perfect score, right? It could be the case that, you know, again, um, the exam was easy, the professor gave you all the answers, or it could just be you're smart, right? So the tendency here is still the same. When you're doing it, the attribution tends to be external. It's not because you're smart. You kind of tell yourself, oh, that must have been an easy exam, you know, things like that. So in a nutshell, one more time, in the actor-observer bias, if you're the observer, whatever happens, you make an attribution that's internal. But if you're the person doing it, you think it's not you, it's the circumstances. So the attribution is external. So in the next little clip, we're going to talk about self-serving bias, okay? Um, usually when I do this in class, I present this a little bit later, but I think in this format, it's going to mention all three effects back to back. So the FAE, the actors of her bias, and then in a second, we're going to talk about self-serving bias, okay? Um, hopefully that helped, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.